six, a helping hand with your land. Neil from Messick's here. We're gonna do a little game today that we've come up with called, Will It Start? <laughs> One of the common questions that we usually get here, being that we are in the Northeast, is do these tractors start well in cold weather? A lot of people have an impression of diesel engines from years gone by as hard starting in the cold. And generally today we find that's not so much the case. We can generally start most tractors pretty easily, even at really cold temperatures. Uh, you can see that we got a couple inches of snow last night. Everything's had several hours to bake in here. We're going to take this set of keys and see how far we can make it until we find one that won't start. Really? That was it? <laughs> this might take a while. So there is a little bit of technique to starting a machine like this. All these being diesels have glow plugs, so when you turn the key forward half a notch, it'll start to heat a heating element inside of the engine. Uh, you typically you want to give that about five or 10 seconds or, go, or so, and then crank the engine over. And that heating element helps the engine start. If you see a lot of smoke when the engine turns over, what you're seeing is unburned fuel. So typically that means you didn't heat the engine quite long enough or you cranked it too much, you got unburned fuel built up in the engine. Uh, generally, we don't find that block heaters are necessary around here, but that is an option. And we'll show you what a block heater looks like a little bit later then. If you're really in an extremely cold environment and pushing zero degrees, sometimes a block heater can help keep the engine warm so it turns over a little bit easier. So we're going to continue down our line of tractors here. We've got probably another uh, 40 pieces of equipment to do, so let's keep going and see if we can find one that won't start. So I can't get this one started, so we're going to have to call it quits. <laughs> so I'm not sure exactly how many machines we made it through, but you should see a running total right down here at the bottom of how far we had to go before we found one of these things that wouldn't start. And this one's not starting because it has a dead battery. It's not because there's something wrong with the engine. Uh, so come with me here a little bit. We'll show you a little bit about the hardware and the glow plugs and everything that make these diesels so easy to start in the wintertime. So one of the things that makes diesel engines easy to start is glow plugs. When you first get onto the machine, the first thing that you want to do is hold the key halfway forward for a couple of seconds in order to help warm the engine. When you do that, this is a glow plug. This is actually the heating element that you're heating. This sticks down through the top of the engine block down into the core of the engine in order to help heat the cylinder. The uh, tip right here is what actually heats up and there's an electrical connector that goes on right here on the top. 
Um, these little things can burn out uh, when you use block heater or glow plugs on a tractor. You only want to go on those plugs for about five, 10 seconds, crank the engine and see if it goes. And if it doesn't go back and do the plugs for another five or 10 seconds again, you don't want to hold these things on for really long periods of time because they can electrically kind of burn out and stop working. Um, they're not very expensive if you need to replace them. If your glow plugs aren't effective anymore, they're a fairly easy replacement. They just screw right into the top of the engine. Fundamentally, repetitive cold starts are not good for an engine um, because when you're starting that machine, everything is cold and dry. You don't have good lubrication and that kind of stuff when the thing first spinning. Um, all of your fluids can also be really thick and not running, to, you know, run and circulate smoothly. Um, if you're in an extremely cold climate, um, a block heater is typically something that can help with that problem. Um, this will screw into the block of the engine. You can see right here has a little heating element inside of it. You'd be really surprised how effective that little heating element can be. These things actually throw a lot of heat and a lot of current. Um, this plug here goes right into the back of the block heater, and then you plug that into your electrical outlet and just kind of keep it plugged in while it's in your garage. Um, that will actually help heat the core of the engine, heat the um, antifreeze and stuff that's in it, in order to help keep things warm. Um, it makes a dramatic difference in cold starts. Another common problem with cold starts too is typically your fuel gelling, and that's when fuel treatments come in. Um, you can see most of the tractors that we went through today have uh, winter grade diesel fuel in them, so we weren't having problems with gelling fuel. But if you are having issues with that, you can typically see some clumping and stuff happening in your fuel filter, or it'll just seem like your machine's not getting any fuel. It won't be puffing out smoke or anything when the engine's turning over. If that's the case, um, these little things are under 15 bucks, and they treat 250 gallons of fuel um, can go a really long way. And adding a little bit of anti-gel to your diesel fuel in the wintertime can prevent cold start fuel issues. So that's our little demo on cold starting a tractor. If you have any questions about any of your machines, any needs that we can help you with, be it parts, sales, or service, give us a call here at Messick's. We're available at 800-222-3373 or online at messick's.com.